Have you ever sat around and thought, hmm, I wonder if I can beat up my friends? No? Well, I have. And apparently, that makes me a psychopath. I don't know, but today, how many Brawl Stars YouTubers could I beat in a fight? That's the question we're going to answer. I got a variety of people up on here, as you can see. We're in a cage match. I don't know how we got there, but we're there, and they rung the bell, and we must fight. We've got to fight. Now, most YouTubers would be like, this is just for fun. Don't take it too seriously, or I'm just joking. No, I'm not joking. Take it seriously. I will destroy them all. Let's get this Royal Rumble started with Ryan. Ryan Lighton, our previous community manager that we all adored and loved, but listen, Ryan is like five foot eight at best, probably like five foot seven. Five foot seven, 120 pounds, soaking wet as a pretty boy lawyer from LA. Ryan, I think we know what's gonna happen. Ryan, you just, you're right there. I, I like Ryan a lot. He's a good dude. One of my favorite people. I'm going to put him here. I, I think that I'll, I'll get him close to dying, but not totally. I'm not a, I'm not a monster yet. His partner in crime over here, Danny, though, Danny's different. Danny's scrappy. He's also about right, same size as Ryan. He's a pretty small guy, but he grew up, he had a rough childhood like me, a young guy, got some street smarts to him. He's scrappy. I think that he knows martial arts as well. Doesn't matter. I would still beat you, Danny, but maybe not as bad as Ryan. You would get some punches in. You'd maybe kick me in the knee, but eventually I would catch you. And when I did, I'm way stronger than him. That seems like a good place for Danny. Moving over to Tribe, however, we've got some people in Tribe who want to have a little go at me, like Tom. I'm just going to say it. If I got in a fight with Tom, he would probably be like, Oh, my biscuits and tea. Stop it. Stop it. I would destroy you, Tom. I would pummel you into the ground until there was nothing left of you but your tea and biscuits. Boom, over there. Look at Coach Corey is looking at you right now. He's scared because he just saw what happened to you. Well, I'm coming for you too, Coach Corey. Another member of Tribe here is his buddy, Drage, on the same team. Drage, however, I think is much scrappier than Tom. He used to be an athlete. He does have a bum knee. Again, he's like five foot five. His hair maybe makes him like five foot seven. I would destroy him too. Sorry, Drage. The other guy from Supercell here, Frank. Frank is a different story. Much like the brawler in Brawl Stars, Frank is huge. If you've ever seen pictures of him, you might not understand it, but he's like six foot four. I'm going to guess like 250 pounds. He probably would do just like Frank in Brawl Stars, and I think that I'm, I'm a little scared of Frank. He's got a mean streak to him. He's very vocal on Twitter. He's not afraid to stand his ground, and I think that he's going to beat me up. I mean, look at his eyes. He's got the crazy eyes, even. You know who else has crazy eyes? OJ. Look at these crazy, ma maniacal eyes. <laughs> Okay, so OJ, it depends on if we're talking pre, you know, fit OJ or current OJ. If we're talking old chubby OJ, I would destroy him. But new fit OJ, he's a lot faster. I'm definitely stronger than him. And I think that OJ is pretty scrappy as well. I think OJ knows how, he's got a mean streak in him where if you just get him in just the right mood, he will probably go bananas on you. When, when all said and done, I think I would have the edge on OJ just for the experience. I've probably been in a lot more fights than him. I think I would still take out OJ. Unless, unless he like tried to cheese me somehow. Like he trapped me in a corner and then like while I was trapped there, you know that he would be laughing just like that <laughs> cackle that he does. Oh God, OJ's going to beat me up. OJ, don't kill me. I'm going to I'm gonna have to put you over here right there. So I'm going to have to brush myself off after that loss and uh, go for Nat. Nat, listen, she's nice. She's a really sweet gal. Natalie is, uh, she, I don't think I've ever really seen her get mad. Plus... Whammon. She's a whammon. I'm, str I'm much stronger than her. I don't think she has a mean streak in her, although maybe she's kind of one of those ones that like will nag at you, you know, just like they just pick at you, just get you just like I wouldn't be doing like I'm, I'm, your, your stance isn't right. Oh, you got to lead with your left hand and then just nag me. And, you know what? I know where this is going. Right there. I, I, I think she wins. She would end up nagging me to death. I say rise and shine. I, don't, I think she's probably going to be the only one. I'm going to put her... She's got her own circle right now. Ray looks like he's being nagged right now. And it's not going to get much better for you, Ray. Because Ray is a very soft-spoken, nice guy. He can get frustrated pretty easily and get real serious. But I, I, I would wager that Ray has never been in a fist fight in his life. 
Ray, if you're in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just, I just don't feel it. And therefore I have no mercy. Boom, over here, you and Tom. Dance your way out of that one. You can't. Now that I'm feeling a little bit better about myself, well, let's go with Paula over here. Paula, she's tiny. Like, I've met her before. She's really nice. She's very sweet. She's also really tiny. She's, she's kind of scrappy, though. She's like, I, I bet you, Paula, Paula, I think she's got a little bit of a streak in her if she, you know, really wants to. But I, she's miniature. She's like, literally, this is like life size for Paula. You could like put her in your pocket. It just, yeah. Although she does like the cosplay. She would probably like cosplay as one of my kids and then I couldn't like, I'm like, oh, that's my, that's my child. I can't beat them up. And then she would spring out and bite me. She's going to fight dirty. I, dang you, Paula. How could you imitate one of my own kids like that, Paula? Speaking of kids, uh, Wasim here is like a kid to me, mainly because he's about as tall as my kids. He is a tiny little guy. He's very small. He's also very fast, but I don't think it's going to matter. I would snap him in half like a twig. Sorry, Wasim, and he's got no confidence because I asked him. I mean, if you don't got the confidence, say you're even going to stand a chance. Over here, right there, next to Tom. You could probably take out Tom in his slap fighting, though. I'm just saying. Wait a second, Ryan or Wasim? Who would win that? I, I, you know what? I want that fight. Pay-per-view that fight. Wasim versus Ryan Lighton. I would pay to watch it. It would be so hilarious, pathetically hilarious, that it would it'd be worth paying for. Supercell. Make it happen. Oh, Kairos. Oh, Kairos. Listen, Kairos is one of my best friends in the world. He is very athletic. Surprisingly so. Not like the strong type of athletics that you're thinking of, but like he's nimble. He's fast. He can be shucking and a jiving. But let's just be real. KT, if we got through into a cage match, you would probably run around like crazy trying to tire me out, but it wouldn't work. Once I got one hand on you, I would destroy you. I'd probably just like put you in like a chokehold. Kairos. <laughs> Let me just look at his face. He already knows it's coming. He's like, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of funny faces, uh, Pat, um, you okay there, bro? Well, you and your three chins. All right, Pat's really tall. He's got a very long reach. I think that he could actually get a couple punches in there just because of his reach. But I think that yeah, in the end, I don't even think he could beat Danny. I'm going to put him right between Drage and Danny. He is the meat in this pathetic sandwich. I don't even know why I included you, Beer Pat. You haven't posted in a long time. Come on, bro. We need them videos. Speaking of someone who's not posted in a while, YDE. Do you guys know YDE? Great pro player from Denmark. He is really tall. I've met him before. He was way taller than me. He's Danish, so he's got that Viking bloodline. Basically, YDE is just a giga chad. I think that he would beat me. Not only just beat me, but I think the, the Viking in him would come out and go completely berserker on me. He would probably use my skull as a face mask. Yeah, I'm, I'm, YDE is a giga chad, and he's destroyed me. You know who can't destroy me, though? Cody. If you don't know who Cody is, he's the social media guy for Tribe. He makes some videos. Like if you check out his Twitter, he's actually got some really cool ones out there where he talks with a lot of the creators. But he's just like, okay, here's the thing with Cody. Cody's been hitting the gym. And good for you, Cody. Good for you. However, he's constantly posting pictures on his Twitter and how he's all jacked and ripped and like flexing his muscles. But listen, muscles don't equal strength, Cody. I'm scared. Three, this is like two, cool. one. Are you going yet? <laughs> Please go, seriously, try it. <laughs> For all of his muscles, he couldn't beat the 43-year-old chubby father of seven. It's wrong, Cody. Same. You're better than Kairos, though. I think you could take Kairos, although that would be also another fun match. Dude, set that up on the de on the pay-per-view as well. Kairos and Cody as like an opening match, and then Wasim and Ryan as the main event. Or heck, even put them all in for a Royal Rumble. I'm here for it. You've been staring at me long enough. All right, Coach Corey is a little bit different, though. He is a little bit shorter. I think he's probably like... 5'9 or so. He's also pretty stocky. He's kind of built like me, like he's not, I'm, I'm, I'm fatter than him. He's like stocky as well, though. He's got a little bit of, you know, you know his bone structure is a little bit more dense. He's also, I, I will forever be grateful to him. He uh, brought me some ibuprofen one time in Finland when I had a migraine. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate that. But this is a cage match. Mm, I think that Corey could put up a fight. I, I would take him out. I would take Corey out, but not by much. I think that he is strong enough. I'm going to put him right there. It's a pretty close match, but I think that in the end, I would beat him up. But he's got a secret weapon. He's got a beard. His beard, though, is just glorious. The beard is not enough to save you this time, Corey. You're right there. You know whose beard is also not good enough to save them? Ben Tim won. He's got the swag. He's got the versatility. 
but he doesn't have the punch. I don't think that Ben's a fighter. Ben's about my size. He's probably right at six foot tall. I bet you Ben weighs about 180 pounds, 185 pounds, somewhere right around there. Pretty good sized guy, but Ben's like really nice. I don't think that he is a fighting type. So therefore, I'm going to put him right here in the middle. Maybe I've misjudged you, Ben. Maybe the beard is the super secret weapon, or maybe you just hide your anger inside, and one day all that bottled rage is just going to explode. But until that day happens, no, Ben. You sit here. Now, Nubs. Oh, Nubs 3. Now, Nubs I have never met in person, but I do know this about him. His favorite brawler used to be Crow, and then he switched to Stu. Just for the sheer betrayal, turning your back on the greatest brawler ever. I want to, like, so far over. You know what? No, 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 no. This is what we do. I would beat him so senselessly that I would throw him in a carton and ship him off to the worst prison in North Korea. That is your fate. This is what happens when you turn your back on Crow. You know what's even worse, Nubs? Just for betraying me and Crow like that and the Crow gang. I'm sending Nat over here and she's going to nag you for all eternity in the North Korea. No, 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 no. Wait, Deal wait, with wait, wait, wait. So we've only got a few people left here. Corey, Spin, and Bobby. Spin... I'm just gonna say it like this. Spin, you're soft. He's almost as bad as Tom. They were on the same world championship team. You you know what, you're both over there. You're soft, Spin. You may be able to play some video games, but you got nothing on me. Just, Bobby, I mean, look at him. He's a pirate Bobby. Like his lips, look at those lips. There's just like, you should have got the makeup on the lips too, Bobby. He's really tall. I've seen Bobby rage at some Power League games. I think he's going to be a little bit feisty, but not feisty enough to really make a difference. Uh, shh, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. I, he's, he's too skinny. You need to hit the gym harder, Bobby. The skinny pirate Bobby, I'm sorry you would walk the plank, take your booty off straight in the sea. I would kick you off of the boat. And our last one is Corey, and I saved him for last because there's a reason. Corey is a lobster fisherman. The dude sits out on a boat all day, like pulling in traps and making out with lobsters or whatever it is that lobster fishermen, lobstermen do. But I can tell you this much. I've never met Corey in person, but I guarantee you he's strong. I think that this, if there was ever a fair fight, it would be me and Corey. However, I asked him, me and you, fist fight, who wins? The dude has confidence. He says, always, it's him. Just for the confidence factor, I'm going to shove you just a little bit over this way, Corey. Just because I like the cut of your jib, sir, I think that this would be probably the hardest fight in the bunch. Besides these people that destroyed me. So there you have it. There's my thermometer of my fighting prowess against all these other Brawl Stars YouTubers. Do you think that I've done it right? Do you think that Nubs deserves to be in a North Korean prison with Nat nagging him for life? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Heck, make your own. Think you could take me? Bring it on.